What we're looking at today is another attempt to, uh, and actually constitutionally enshrine in our constitution, uh, a, a tool that will help rig the system for the rich and corporations and make it impossible to invest in the things that we know grow jobs and the prosperity for all Washingtonians. What it is, is we would require a two-thirds majority of the legislature to raise revenue, something that we have uh, been battling on the ballot almost every, uh, every, every two years, but this would put it in the Constitution and would make it very, very difficult for the state to manage its finances, to invest in the things that we know grow jobs, and would permanently give a tool for the rich and powerful to rig the system in their favor and make sure that they don't pay the same share of responsibility for investing in our state's future. What it would basically allow is only 17 legislators to block balanced approaches to the state's fiscal challenges. So currently under the uh, 1053 initiative, which the legislature currently is operating under, even though the lower court has started out as being unconstitutional and the Supreme Court's working on a ruling, all fees have to have a simple majority vote, which has never been the case. It's just terrible fiscal policy. Agencies used to be able to set their own fees, figure out what their budgets are, if a park needed to raise a fee to, to operate, if driver's licenses need to, to, to be raised. They didn't have to bring it before the legislature to check off on all of these things. It's this level of micromanagement that is not good fiscal policy. So this uh, constitutional amendment would enshrine that in the Constitution or require all fee increases to do that as well. And then anything that is a general tax would require a two-thirds vote of the legislature. The um, other thing that is really important to understand is that this is totally in inconsistent with the fact that we, the legislature does and will create new tax breaks with a simple majority constantly. But we would re be required to do a two-thirds vote to get rid of any tax break, which most of them have no measures about whether they're creating jobs. Most of them actually are not growing their economy, and very few of them have any sunset like everything else in the state budget. Every two years, the state budget comes up, we make choices about it, we cut things out of it, we cut it out with a simple majority, but the tax breaks have, that, have none of that same scrutiny. So it were, the, the, the totality of this measure would create all sorts of fiscal challenges. And in fact, uh, when we've looked at other states that have these restrictions, the bond rating agencies have said this is a terrible way for a state to operate and have lowered their bond ratings, which has meant that this, those states have had to pay more to take out bonds to do things like build bridges, build schools, build other state institutions, the things that Washingtonians care about. So it's just not good policy. It's not the way that we believe democracy works and it would help uh, rich Washingtonians avoid paying their share of responsibility for everything that we value.